Hubby is not feeling well. We got the good. Do you think you have COVID? No. We had it in the morning, followed by the fever. What am I coming down with? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you are new here, my name is Brenda and I like to film lifestyle vlogs. So if you're into that kind of thing, please support my channel by clicking subscribe. Don't forget to press the like button and comment, share, share this channel with your friends, get them on board to Brenda Edith. So I think I'm gonna try and do a weekly vlog. Usually what that is, is that you vlog like the highlights of your day. So instead of filming, you know, the mundane tasks such as cleaning, working out and cooking and all that stuff. You're just basically going to film what you perceive as your highlight of the day. Today being the first day of this weekly vlog, I'm going to just vlog my highlight of the day, which is getting my nails done. But with that being said, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like this video, comment and share, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and let's get going with the video. really obsessed with the Greek chicken marinade that I've been telling y'all already for now. Like this is like the third video that I mentioned this specific plate in, but I just love it so much. Oh good. The chicken is just so perfectly smoked and marinated and it's so good. I'm finally back home from Costco. It was a very quick trip. Actually, it was not a quick trip. It was a lot of work. It's always a lot of work going to Costco by myself, but you know, had to get that laundry detergent. So I'm gonna give y'all a haul. We ended up getting some organic soy milk, and some jam. Every time we go to Costco, I've been seeing these Suja drinks. We love watermelon. It's an easy summer hydrating snack. We stocked up on cream cheese. Usually I get the sticks, but because I've noticed that we run through it quickly, I realized, you know what? Let's just get the tub. This should last us a very long time. We stocked up on the Greek yogurt and then we picked up our favorite coconut water. I'm gonna have one right now. It's so delicious. It's the Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. It's organic and the ingredients, it's just organic coconut water. That's all that it is. And if y'all haven't tried this brand, I highly recommend it. You will never go back to like regular standard coconut water you're gonna want to get this one grapes i picked these up mainly for adrian because he loves grapes bread for sandwiches this time i end up getting the thin slice the 80 calorie one and then obviously right underneath i picked up a box of cheez it's this is definitely more geared towards adrian he loves Cheez Its and he loves taking these to work. We bought our household items as earlier I had mentioned. I went to Costco mainly for the laundry detergent. Here we always used a free clear laundry detergent. We usually used a Costco brand, but I noticed that this one had more loads versus the Costco brand. We also needed some Clorox wipes. And then we bought these for the clothes as well. You just kind of throw in just a little bit and it makes your clothes smell good. Dish detergent, a pack of socks, some more bath towels for us. And then I ended up getting some chicken breast, but I put that in the freezer. That, like, that was the first thing I did when I got here. I came with three and I just cut them up and I organized them in the fridge. So that was the Costco haul. I'm gonna put that away, but I'm just gonna enjoy this coconut water. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. This is my favorite coconut water, everybody. It's like the closest coconut water that I've had that tastes like I'm having a coconut from Cabo or something. So, absolutely delicious and refreshing. And if I just close my eyes, I can see the beach in Cabo, San Lucas. So beautiful out there. I can almost hear the waves. I'm just kidding, being like too drama. Anyway, so I'm gonna put the groceries away and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hubby 
is not feeling well, right? You're not feeling well. So he's requested some chicken noodle soup. And I don't mind making it. I've got the recipe that I like to follow. It's by a website called Budget Bites. I'll link it in the description below. But this is this is the best homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this because it is going to take a little over an hour to cook because it does require a simmer of one hour. And that way we can eat soon because I'm getting hungry. Are you hungry, Rico? Yeah, so we're getting hungry. So let's get cooking. onions and when you see them cooking in a pot you just know that it's gonna be a cozy delicious soup add my vegetables now added the chicken if this one is from frozen which is fine and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it in the herbs and then I'm gonna add the water right now Rico's gonna help me put water in this pot so just enough to fill the chicken up I'll tell you when. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good. Thank you very much. Are you excited for your chicken soup? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I'm going to lay down. Okay, go back and rest up. So now that we've got the chicken here, it says here, cover the pot, bring it to a boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to low and simmer for one hour. So let me go ahead and cover the pot and bring it to a boil bring it up and then we'll reduce it and let it simmer for about an hour and then i like to cook the noodles the egg noodles aside because i don't like the soup to absorb the noodles otherwise you're left with like no chicken broth which defeats the purpose but we have our egg noodles right over here so I'm gonna cook these towards the end of the cooking process of the soup. So around like when the soup is about to be ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put a separate pot and cook the noodles. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up around here, keep an eye on the pot, and then yeah, maybe grab a snack because I'm hungry myself. So the chicken is on a low simmer and it's going to be on a low simmer for about an hour. And then once it's about to be ready, I'm going to take the chicken breast out and shred it. And then that's when I'll also put a pot to boil for water to cook the egg noodles. But right now, I'm actually on my way to the grocery store. I'm gonna go pick up some saltine crackers. And then um, I'm gonna go pick up some saltine crackers and a Caesar salad pack because every time I go to Panera Bread or when I used to go to Panera Bread often and I would get their chicken noodle soup I would always order it like with a salad and then at Panera Bread they serve you the soup with bread but I asked my husband do you want bread or crackers today and he chose for crackers and he's the one that's filling under the weather so we're gonna go with what he wants but I told them that I'd also like to get a Caesar salad pack to add just a side salad to our soup. So we're going to go to the grocery store. It is the late afternoon. Whew. I've been out of breath lately and I don't even know why. Made it back home safely, thank God. And I picked up the Caesar salad kit that I told y'all and the crackers that my husband prefers to have with his chicken noodle soup. And now we're gonna go back in. Hopefully the soup 
is halfway there. Ooh, it looks nice and yummy. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. to go and then I'm going to salt the broth now I went ahead and pulled out the chicken so this is the broth that we're working with looks very good right and it has the vegetables there at the bottom and I'm going to add the salt for the recipe starting with one teaspoon but I usually end up doing one tablespoon and then I'm shredding the chicken over here and then I'm gonna plop this back in there and then it'll be time for dinner. Soup looks, it looks super delicious and very traditional. The bay leaf is floating right over here. I did have to add a little bit more water, but that's okay. That's usually how I do this recipe. I just follow the recipe as it says, start with eight cups of water and then if you need to add more, you can do that and then just simply adjust the salt. So now I'm going to taste the broth to see how the saltiness is. I love the flavor of this broth. It's so rich with like the herbs and the recipe says to remove the fat from the chicken breast. By the way, I used the bone-in split chicken breast, but because the chicken was frozen, I couldn't remove it. And I didn't mind having the skin on there anyway for that extra punch of flavor. And that's exactly what, I think I'm going to start making it this way actually. I'm not gonna remove the skin because it really gives it that really nice, rich, flavor i'm going to add just a little bit more salt i did add a tablespoon to this huge pot so i'm going to go ahead and just add maybe half of a tablespoon and see if that really just helps pop the flavors more it is time to serve so i'm going to go ahead and serve the noodles first I'm having crackers too, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna have mine also with a salad. I tossed it in this bowl and I'm just gonna eat it out of the bowl, whatever. We are going to my mom's house to go pick up some tests to see if Rico is sick with the vid. And honestly, I've been out of breath too and well, actually, you're not even out of breath, huh? I'm, I've been dealing with shortness of breath, which is really, really odd, so I want to get tested as well. So we're gonna find out. They're one of those rapid test kits, so we will all find out together if we have the vid. We got the goods. We got this. Do you think you have COVID? No. I don't think I have COVID either, but we shall see in just a moment. A strong, strong positive, and then this one's mine. His came positive right away, and then mine was, is still, I still have like nine minutes left on mine, but it's negative. What do you have to say? I'm gonna Lysol the place down right now. <coughs> oh man. This is so awkward because the last time Rico had COVID, we were engaged, so obviously it was easy for him to isolate. But now, what am I supposed to do? Sleep with a mask? It is now the next day, and just an update, my husband does have the vid, and he is resting up. He is being taken care of, but he was just fed lunch, and uh, he's just resting up. So with that being said, we, me and you, you and I, us, we're going to Target because I need to go pick up a few personal items. I also need to pick up some lemons because uh, Rico, my husband, he likes to drink lemon honey tea right now that he's not feeling well. So we do need more lemons. Whew. I am still struggling with my breath. I am not sure what's going on, but I tested negative for COVID.
made it back home from Target and I'm gonna give y'all a quick haul. I got a mix of household items, a few groceries, and some personal necessities, and a couple of fun fall items. So let's get started. Picked up another bottle since the one that we have we're running low in. I also ended up picking up the daily shower spray from Method, some Lysol, deodorant, some chapstick, some of our favorite eggs. I kid you not, these eggs just taste differently. Even when you crack them, they're a bit more brighter in the yolk, which tells that it is more nutrient dense is what they say. So this one comes from a hen. Let's find out together what is the name of the hen. So the bird of the month is Sublime Summer. How adorable is that? And it says, Sublime Summer munches on her final snack of the day before watching the sunset over the hills. That is so adorable. Hopefully one day, one day, we can own a hen that can provide us with eggs. Rico likes to drink his lemon honey tea, so I had to pick up more lemon. Popcorn, cinnamon, raisin, bagels. An exciting fall product that I'm excited to try, everybody. I saw this. This is my favorite oat creamer, but I saw that they have this flavor, maple brown sugar. And you can tell that they have like the autumn leaves as like the, you know, the artwork of the bottle. I cannot wait to try this tomorrow morning. I picked up these mini bowls from the Hearth and Hand area. These were $3.99 each. It's stoneware. I like the quality of stoneware from Hearth and Hand. Our first autumn cup of the season. How cute is this mug? It is a cream pumpkin shaped mug. But yeah, that's the Target haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed that. What are you watching? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park? Back in the car. I've made the decision to get out of the house. It's so easy to be cooped up at home, especially working from home. It's really easy to just stay inside all day and really just, you know, wrap it up and just stay there. But I like to make an effort to at least get out of the house by running an errand. So I'm going to drop off my husband's uniform for work because he asked me if I could do that since he's going to be needing it soon. And obviously he's kind of like, you know, quarantine isolation status so he can't leave the house. And then I might go to Sprouts after that. It just depends how I feel. But usually once I get out of the house, I like being out. So I might go to Sprouts to go pick up his decaf coffee because he likes the one from Sprouts and that's it so let's let's get out of the house i already said house like 10 times sorry <laughs> made it at the cleaners gonna go drop this off real quick and then maybe just maybe we'll go to sprouts back home from Sprouts. Funny story, I specifically went there to go pick up a few vegetables and coffee for Adrian. And it was funny because when I poured in the coffee beans into the bag, this bag, I accidentally like poured so much inside and I was just like, whatever, we'll just run with it. When I went up to go do a self checkout because they didn't even have like regular cashiers open, I, I was forced to use the self checkout and I don't like it because it's like, what if I punch in the wrong thing? Well, when I punched this in, I was in for a rude awakening. The entire bag was gonna be like close to $30. And I was like, there's just no way I'm going to bring a $30 little baggie home so then i had to like ask the person to help me they kind of they had to come and help me and they helped me pour out some of the excess beans into a separate bag and then this was just about 10 bucks now so this is the organic french vanilla decaf coffee beans and then we grind it as we go for my husband chopped kale i plan to freeze this some organic elderberry this is good for whenever you feel under the weather which is how adrian feels 
and how I feel right now. So I'm gonna be taking some of this. An apple, a green apple, because I want to make a green smoothie. A cucumber for the same reasons to add to the smoothie. A few yams for us to have for the week. And that is it. So that was the Sprouts Run. This morning I woke up and I had a really high fever of like almost 102, it was like 101.7. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on with me? What am I coming down with? I haven't taken another vid test. We have one more here that's expired, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that test later on today. I did take some Tylenol, so I am feeling better as far as like my headache because I had a pounding nasty headache in the morning followed by the fever. And I think like right now Tylenol is giving me a really good relief. I Lysoled everything down and hubby is back there right now. So that's why I have my mask off. Nonetheless, happy Friday. Oh my goodness. But with that being said, I made a mistake. Remember yesterday how I explained that I went to Sprouts and I had to do the self checkout because there weren't any cashiers available and I made the mistake of charging myself $29 worth of coffee beans. Remember that? Well, I looked at my receipt this morning because I honestly, like I was clearing out this bag because I like to fold the grocery bags and use them as like trash bags and the receipt was inside here. And then I, I took a look at it again because it was really a lot of money what I ended up paying yesterday for the little amount of things that I brought home. And sure enough, I made the mistake of not taking out the $29 worth of coffee beans. Thank goodness that I have not even grinded the coffee beans yet because I'm gonna take that bag right now to Sprouts and I'm gonna tell them, hey, I made a mistake. And this is the bag on the receipt. It says X amount. And uh, obviously I made a mistake of, I'm gonna tell them everything. So hopefully they, you know, they can refund this amount because $29 worth of coffee beans, like no thank you. You know what I mean? That's definitely a mistake. Like, and I made that mistake. So now I'm gonna go back there and get this fixed. And then after I'm gonna take my husband to urgent care, he's feeling better, but he's gonna be going there to get like some work notes or something like that. And we're gonna go buy a water jug because like a water jug setup because we don't have one. We're gonna have the coffee that I made them mistake in. keys right there. Bobby did end up going to urgent care, but what did they tell you? No doctor's note to go back to work. So they're having him take the full time off because he <sighs> wanted to go back to work sooner because why? You feel better? Yes. So then we ended up leaving the urgent care area and then we went to the water place because we wanted to buy a water jug thing set up. I'll show y'all when we get home. But the place didn't even have any. So then we had to go to a different water jug place and we did find what we need but the one that Rico wanted which is the one that we ended up getting was like really sturdy which is what we need because there tends to be earthquakes out here and we're trying to like figure out like is this water jug stand earthquake proof do you know what I mean when was the last time we had an earthquake do you remember Couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago when it was Hurricane Hillary, Hillary, Hurricane Hillary, Tropical Storm Hurricane Hillary, we had an earthquake. It was just like literally like the end of the world that day. I don't know. All right, so since the last time I picked up the camera, a couple things have evolved. Rico, what do you want to tell them? Right. I've been sitting on this couch for 72 hours. <laughs> Okay, so the update actually is that my symptoms have progressed and now we suspect that I have the vid because I did take a test and it came back with a faint positive line. So we're not sure if we have it. I'm not sure if I have it, but I'm not feeling 100%. 
And then the second update is that we bought the water jug thing that I told you all about. This is how it looks like. It's not very glamorous. I'm not a huge fan, but it gets the job done. If it's two of these here, and the reason why we go for this is because it's sturdy. So if there's an earthquake, it won't tip over. But also, we drink a lot of water. So it's not like we can have one of those. Like I've seen people that have like the one that you could keep on the counter. We, we can't do that because we drink so much water. As you can see, we have like eight of these. And this is a pot that we bought with it. I chose the sunflower one. And at this point... My husband and I, we probably both have, well, he has the vid for sure. I'm the one that I'm still like, do I have it or not? Because the test that I took was an expired one. So I'm like, you know, but I have like the symptoms. Yeah. And then also we're going to be going to mass. But because here in California, they don't really have any vid guidelines anymore. Like they completely removed it all. So basically you're like a lonely wolf now in the streets with vid. So what I'm gonna do when we go to mass this afternoon, we are going to double mask or I'm gonna put a mask on and a face shield and I'm gonna sit very far away from everybody because I don't wanna get anybody sick. Well, both of us are. 